Well, peaceful protests continue on the streets of downtown Akron as activists continue to call for justice in the shooting death of Jalen Walker. Walker was shot and killed last month at the hands of eight unnamed Akron police officers. In those protests today were several families who have had loved ones shot and killed by police officers. They spoke with 3 News' Emma Henderson why they felt they needed to speak out today. Good evening, Emma. Hi, Jason. So I spoke to two women, a mother and a sister of people that have died in police shootings in Northeast Ohio. They're all too familiar with what the Walker family is going through and want them to know they're here. Many families will never know what it's like to get a call saying their loved one was shot and killed by police. But for Diamond Belmonte, that day came on January 5th, 2021, when her brother Vincent Belmonte was shot and killed by East Cleveland police. You always see police brutality on TV. And you're always like, oh, I would hate to have to go through that, or I can only imagine how they're feeling. And then you're put in a situation like mine to where I know how they feel. And for Samaria Rice, that day came on November 24th, 2014, when her son Tamir Rice was shot and killed by Cleveland police. It was just very important for me to be here because they riddled that boy's body. They riddled it full of bullets, and it's just really uncalled for. On June 27th, 2022, that call came for Jalen Walker's family, the 25-year-old hit by more than 60 bullets from eight different Akron police officers. His story getting national attention and bringing protesters out each day since. Say his name! Say water! Say his name! Say water! So these Northeast Ohio families feel connected by tragedy and compelled to march. It's just, it's crazy to be out here 60 times. I know what four bullets did to my family and 60, I could only imagine what that could do to a person. Only they have an idea of the Walker family's path ahead. To have to bury a loved one or even a child um, is very hard to cope and people may not understand. So I'm here to help them and guide them and, you know, make the process um, easy so they can understand. No officers were charged in either Vincent Belmonte or Tamir Rice's deaths. Officer Timmy, Timothy Lohman was fired in Rice's case, but over the past week was both hired and withdrew his application to work as a police officer at a department in rural Pennsylvania. Jason. Emma, thank you so much. We appreciate you.